Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today I kind of wanted to do a different video for y'all. And I kind of wanted to do, uh, I guess I would call it a story time about my life, specifically the last four years, more or less. My daughter is about to be four. So um, this kind of will tell you what this video is mostly about. This video is mostly about how I found out I was pregnant and how it how life was as a single mother um, and up to this point where I am now. So without further ado, I'm going to get started, but I do want to do one disclaimer. I'm not going to mention absolutely a single name because obviously that's not fair um, to the people involved in my story. Um, they didn't ask to be um, mentioned by name, so I'm not going to say names. And I also, um, I'm going to try to leave some things vague because I also don't think it's fair to totally talk about people in certain ways. I'm going to try to be as transparent as possible while still leaving out chunks of information that I don't think are fair, like I said. So anyways, let's all get started. <laughs> let's go and go around back till I was 18. So I was 18 six years ago, not four years ago. But um, I was 18 six years ago. Um, I had just started off my freshman year of college and things were going pretty decently. Um, I met a couple boys. I got into a couple of situations that were really unfortunate and kind of idiotic on my part. And I ended up um, just really making huge mistakes um, at the beginning of my college. I had a great, I had a blast. But I was also just, I mean, I wasn't reckless or partying or being a crazy girl or anything. But I was doing things I probably should not have been doing. And I should have been focusing more on the, getting the experience of college and getting my studies in. And really just, you know, learning how to be independent. And that's not what I spent my time doing. I spent my time chasing love and I spent my time chasing guys, to be honest. Um... I wanted to be loved so badly and I don't know why because I had just previously left my high school boyfriend who adored me. He was a great guy and I left him because I was like, you know, going to college, um, we're not going to be around each other, we're going to be, I mean, we're not that far, we're about an hour apart, but um, I just wanted to experience newness and I had been with him for almost three years and it was just like, you know, anyway. Um, so, um, my first semester of college, I ended up getting this situation with one guy, and I wasn't in love with him, um, at all, so it was kind of just like, meh, but it, I, I was hurt by him and the situation that we went through. So, there was that, so that brings me to my second semester of college, when I fell head over heels in love for this guy. And... We had an even worse situation happen, and it was uh, one of the hardest points of my entire life. I felt so alone. Um, he basically totally ghosted me, and I'm not going to get into other details of what happened, but that was the final straw where I just totally f flipped, kind of. I flipped a switch in my head, and it was just like, it was the end of the world to me. It was heartbreaking and it was the first time that I experienced, besides like my first, you know, um, first heartbreak back in high school when I had my first boyfriend. This was the first time that I just felt so much emptiness and sorrow and hurt and I just didn't even understand how I could come back from that. So fast forward, I got in a job, my first job, well, I had gone in two jobs. So first I had been a cheerleading coach for a while, um, but I wanted something that was more predictable and so I got a job at a restaurant. Um, and that is where I met the father of my daughter. Um, and the time that I met him, I don't want to be awful of me or anything or say anything too much, but I'm going to admit I was not in love with him. Um, I felt like I needed something and someone to kind of come back from so much hurt that I had experienced months earlier and I felt like 
in him that's what I found he was very supportive of me and he showed me so much attention I should have known something was wrong when he had a girlfriend originally and I didn't know and he didn't tell me so he had a girlfriend when we first met and he kind of technically cheated on her with me um obviously we only like kissed or whatever but still it was cheating and um once I, I found that out like you know a couple months later and at that point I should have been like no you know red flags all around no way but I didn't because um I just enjoyed feeling like I was cared about and not saying he's a bad guy um there's certain things that I don't wouldn't say I approve of with him but I wouldn't also I also wouldn't go as far to say as that he's a bad human being with bad intentions he just has made mistakes just like I have and yeah Anyways, moving forward, um, we kind of spread the process and um, we were together by September of that year. So September of that year we were together um, and I was kind of hiding it from a lot of people so it wasn't like, I don't know, it wasn't out there. Um, I did not want anyone to know about us, not, not anyone, but I didn't want my parents to know about us because we're from very different backgrounds and he just, he doesn't have the same mindset as I do, still doesn't, that's okay. Um, and I was trying to get through college, he was just working in, not just, but he was working in the restaurant industry and he didn't know what he wanted to do with his life. So there was that and I was just kind of like, I don't know. It was dumb. It was, it was dumb. Let's just say that on both of our parts. Because I don't think he ever really, really loved me either. Let's just put that out there. So, <laughs> um, fast forward to January. Um, he had a birthday party. And I stayed the whole weekend at his house. And um, we got in this major fight. And uh, I don't even know what it was about. I think it was because he was flirting with other girls, you know. That kind of stuff was kind of a very common theme in our relationship. Um, and it was just like, it wasn't even that he was flirting with other girls in general. It was that it was in front of me and it just felt, you know, wrong. I just felt wrong in the relationship the whole time. For a couple months, um, I did end up take my period hadn't come. And I did take a pregnancy test. It was positive. But honestly, in my head, it checked out. It absolutely checked out. And I was like, you know, this isn't true. So I just went on to believe that I really wasn't, which was crazy in retrospect. Um, and then um, more months went by, it was like May or June, um, and I had gotten really, really sick. I was losing a lot of weight, I had crazy headaches, and um, I don't know, I just didn't feel well at all. So then I went to the doctor because my mother was like, you know, you should go to the doctor. I'd gotten home for the summer from college. Um, and my mom was like, you know, you need to go. So I went. They gave me a pregnancy test. They gave me all these other tests. Pregnancy test came out negative. I'm going to say that first. Um, and they just basically told me that I was low on my iron, my I was B vitamin deficient, and a couple other things that I needed to, to start taking multivitamins and iron supplements and whatnot to get my body back on track. So, you know, in my mind, that checked off pregnancy test. It was non existent. I was not pregnant at all, and life was good again. So, there was that. <laughs> okay. And then, um,. We are going to fast forward a little bit more um, to July or whatnot. Um, and I was, we were going to go to Las Vegas. Um, I was only, I had just turned 20. So I got pregnant at 19. Um, I had just turned 20. We were going to go to Las Vegas. And, um, sorry there's so many ums in this, but I'm just trying to gather all my thoughts. And I was trying to lose some weight because I was noticing there was a little bit chub around my middle section. Nothing, you know, too noticeable or anything, but it just definitely was not as flat as I was used to being because I was pretty thin prior to this whole thing. So I went on this like Jillian Michaels cleanse thing where you drink like a gallon of water every day, like, um, and you ate very little and you didn't eat foods that were high in salts, whatever. I lost like... I don't know, eight pounds from doing this. Um, we went to Las Vegas. I did drink one drink because in my mind I was not pregnant. Um, and 
um, we came back from the trip and I just remember my ankles were like this and that was probably from so much water retention and when you're pregnant you know that kind of stuff happens so there was that um, then um, I, I scheduled an appointment for two weeks later right before I was gonna move back into the dorms to go get um, myself checked again because I was still feeling kind of weird um, and I didn't understand I thought I had something wrong with my ovaries or something like that so I went to the doctor the doctor we get there and the doctor says you are between 30 and 32 weeks pregnant and I remember we had gone to Mimi's cafe I don't know if any of you know what Mimi's cafe is but it's like a little diner like not diner that's, that's a lie it's like home style kind of meals and um I always love their pot roast and I just remember vomiting that pot roast everywhere literally everywhere so I went back um my boyfriend at the time, baby's daddy, um, we went back to his house and I just remember feeling so much depression and anxiety and just unsureness of the future and sadness and just any negative emotion you can have. And honestly, I'm just going to go ahead and say it, um, I called my mom and I was like, it's worse than a tumor, which sounds awful and do not take offense if you you or any of your family members have tumors or anything like that. Um, but to me, it was. Um, I was like, I'm pregnant. And my mom was like, that is not worse. And obviously, I know that's not worse. But to me, it was the worst thing to ever happen to me um, at the time. <laughs> so there was that. And for the next couple of weeks, honestly, I totally felt depressed about it. Um, my boyfriend at the time, I knew he was still talking to other girls and it just wasn't like one of those fun things. It wasn't what pregnancy should be. It wasn't like, yay, we're pregnant, you know, it wasn't anything like that. It was like doom and gloom and uh, it was just really dark part of my life and I wish it really hadn't been. I wish I had learned to accept it with as a blessing, which it really ended up being. And I came back and come from upstairs. And but at the time, it just felt like the end of my world. And it kind of was, you know. It, babies are the end of your world when you're 20 years old. Um, and I was 19 when I had gotten pregnant. So there was that. So I had less than two months to get everything together. Um, luckily, my parents were so supportive and so helpful. Um, and at the beginning, her father was as well. So I had all that support and we were able to do it. I had to disenroll myself from the dorms. I ended up switching all my classes over to be online classes, which was amazing that I was even still able to do that. Like the timing all ended up being perfect. Um, I ended up having her on September 28th of 2012. Um, she is my pride and my joy, obviously. But yeah, so there's that. Um, anyways, so we went on and we lived happily ever after. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but this is the end of part one. So I had her on September 28th, 2012, which her birthday is coming up. She's going to be four, but there's a lot that has happened in that time between. So that was just the beginning of my little journey, kind of. Um, anyways, I hope you like it and I hope you guys stay tuned for part two of my little spill of my life um i just feel like this is really the part of my life that i grew the most from and i feel like this has been the most substantial part of my life anyways please stay tuned for my next video please comment please write and please subscribe i can't speak blah, 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 blah. and i'll see y'all in the next one bye y'all